ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Though today we're really not going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3, but rather the future of Call of Duty, specifically COD 2024 as well as COD 2025. It's kind of crazy, right? We just learned a couple of days ago that the sales numbers for Modern Warfare 3 are down 38% compared to last year with Modern Warfare 2. And right before that news came out, we started to get some leaks and rumors in regards to COD 2024, which is Treyarch's next game, which is likely going to be Black Ops Golf War. Kind of weird how that works out, right? Most of these leaks or a lot of these things that happen, I do genuinely believe that a lot of it is just very clever marketing on the part of Activision. But regardless, we got some new details and we're going to be covering that here in today's video. So like I said, lots of leaks and rumors have been coming out over the past couple months in regards to Black Ops Gulf War from industry insiders, places like Windows Central, Tom Henderson, as well as the game files themselves for Warzone Mobile. So here's basically everything we know because we haven't really talked about this game in a while and I just want to kind of give a quick breakdown of all we've learned so far. Treyarch's next game, which people thought Black Ops 5, Black Ops 6, whatever, it's probably going to be Black Ops Gulf War, most likely. It's going to be set in the 1990s during the Gulf War. It's going to have more of a traditional military vibe to it, right? It's going to be old school technology as compared to what we're used to with the Modern Warfare series right now. And because it's going to be the Gulf War, there's also going to be a bunch of relics from like Vietnam and stuff that was used in Black Ops Cold War because of course that game was set in the 80s. It's going to be a direct sequel to Black Ops Cold War. Some Black Ops maps, from what we've heard, are going to be returning. The two that were leaked a while ago are WMD and Grid, but it is said that the game is going to have a whole bunch of original maps, but year two is going to be different. Like, Activision has this new mentality, at least for right now. I mean, you know, remember back when we had the Advanced Movement games, we're like, oh no, is it going to be Advanced Movement forever? Because we had three straight Advanced Movement games, but of course that wasn't the case. They tend to go on these little streaks of trying out different things, and they run with that for a bit, and then they get a new idea, and then they jump to that but when it comes to COD 2024 it seems like they're going to basically be doing what they're doing right now with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. It said that Black Ops Gulf War is going to have a year two again similar to what we have right now where Treyarch is going to release their game in 2024 and then Treyarch themselves or possibly another developer are going to handle the 2025 game which is going to be a direct sequel to Black Ops Gulf War. Now what we've learned so far is actually really interesting. It sounds like they're really going to be copy and pasting the entire idea of what they're doing right now with the Modern Warfare franchise, because right now it's said that Black Ops Golf War is going to come out. It's going to be in the 90s. It's all going to be fantastic and whatnot. It's going to be kind of a throwback Treyarch game, more like the old school, like the original Black Ops, which sounds cool. And then in 2025, they're going to release another game, but that game is said to have no original maps in it at launch, but rather they're going to have all the Black Ops 2 maps returning and have them be remastered. That would actually be pretty interesting, right? So we're going to have a game, Black Ops Golf War, set in the 90s but then the year after that all the maps are going to be from Black Ops 2 and in my head I thought to myself well that doesn't really seem to make that much sense like how could they possibly pull that off unless we're doing a massive time jump and then we have like half the game being carried forward content from like 1990s 1980s technology and weapons and stuff like that and then we jump up into like the 2020s which is just like 30 40 years it'd be kind of weird right but I really don't think it'd be that hard because just like looking at some of these maps right here I mean Black Ops 2's maps weren't crazy if you Futuristic. I mean, the game itself has some kind of weird technology back in the day. Some of it was semi-futuristic. A lot of the guns at the time didn't even properly exist, but the game was still futuristic because we were all the way back in 2012 when that game came out, you know, but the maps themselves, you could just throw those into basically any Black Ops game and they would look normal. It's kind of similar to what they did with Black Ops Cold War. They remastered Raid, they remastered Hijacked from Black Ops 2 and put them in the Cold War, but they fit within that game because all they really had to do was add some like 80s themed decorations to the wall, you know, change the TVs to the old school televisions, maybe change up the cars that are on the map and things like that. It really wasn't all that difficult. So it sounds like that's what we're going to be having with COD 2025. But on top of that, we're going to have Warzone as well as Zombies. And right now we've learned that round based Zombies is supposedly going to be returning. Again, take everything with a grain of salt because it's all leaks and rumors as of right now until it's officially out there. You know, things are definitely subject to change, but it's said that round based Zombies will be returning with COD 20. 24 and there's going to be two round based maps available at launch when it comes to warzone we just learned this the other day in fact apparently according to industry insiders when warzone comes out for cod 2024 it's going to be verdansk the return of verdansk which for a lot of warzone fans is a really big deal and they're all pretty excited about that now one other thing we've learned recently as well and this is going to be like an ongoing video series as we get more details and more information about black ops golf war but it's said that right now activision is going to 
going to be leaning towards a very heavy pre-order bonus with that game. And I'm not talking about like crazy juggernaut refrigerators or anything like that. Apparently what they're going to be doing is pre-orders are going to allow players to have several days early access to the game's multiplayer and then maybe even weeks early access for the other modes like campaign and even zombies. They're doing that a lot right now on the Blizzard side of things with World of Warcraft. It looks like they're going to be doing the same thing with Call of Duty on the Activision side of things. But keep in mind, Black Ops Gulf War or Black Ops 6 or whatever the hell they're going to be calling this year's game. It's going to be the first game that Microsoft is going to own it right from the very beginning. Obviously, this game's been in development for like three or four years now, which means it's likely going to be the most complete feeling game that we've had freaking pretty much in the last like five years which sounds great but microsoft is going to be at the helm and that's going to be nice if you guys don't know like that whole playstation exclusivity nonsense it dies with modern warfare 3 even though microsoft is taking over they've said in the past that there will be same day content and feature parody in the cod franchise going forward after modern warfare 3 is finished so starting off with cod 2024 no more of that exclusivity bullshit that's gonna be fantastic and just i'm wondering because we've been wondering all these years as Microsoft was slowly being able to try to take over Activision and everything exactly what would change and what was going to be different well with Modern Warfare 3 I mean nothing really was going to be changing because Microsoft literally just got the keys to the entire company like a month or two ago like there's not enough time for anything to really happen or change right now the next game Black Ops Call 4 COD 2024 freaking Black Ops 6 whatever the hell you want to call it that game is going to be the first game where they actually have some say. I know the game's been in development for a while, but they will have some say from the position of the higher ups, and we'll see what, if anything, is going to come of that. But ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to make this video here today because we got the leaks about the pre-order bonuses a couple of days ago. We started hearing about Verdansk a couple of days ago, and so I wanted to give a quick recap as to what we've learned so far from industry insiders and leaks and rumors and sources online and stuff like that about Treyarch's next game, because as you guys know, the COD cycle is one that never Never stops moving. Me personally, I'm sitting here looking forward to the Christmas event in Modern Warfare 3, but while we're waiting for that, I mean, things are always going on behind the scenes when it comes to the next COD and the COD after that. I think Activision's president said something to the effect of they have all of their COD games already planned out through 2027, which is pretty freaking nuts. So they're always working on this stuff. And at the day and age we live in right now, it's very easy or it's very common, I should say, for industry insiders to get information and to leak stuff online and we start to learn more and more and more about the game some of it is definitely just marketing from the company themselves but we end up learning a lot and as always i'll do my best to keep you guys posted as we get more information about cod 2024 i mean don't expect a video every week on it or anything like that like when details come out i will cover it i mean obviously the freaking modern warfare 3 just came out so we're probably a ways away from any big news any big details or anything like that but i wanted to recap what we learned so far as well as talk about verdansk apparently being the war zone map two zombies maps at launch as well as a brand new pre order bonus thing where players are going to be able to pay to play the game early because I don't know they seem to already know that people are going to set their consoles to places like New Zealand and whatnot to play early I'm thinking they're going to try and find a way to monetize that by allowing people just to straight up play the game without having to do any bullshit like well before the official release date so I guess we have to wait and see that might be something that's coming down from Microsoft it might be a new Activision thing we shall see ladies and gentlemen once again so hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a like leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.